nice quiet street this beautiful home is on. Yep, that's the cul-de-sac. So let's go in. Let's take a look. Okay, so right from the entry, let's take a scan here. There is a geometric pattern here on the wall. Wow. Sorry. Look at all of the natural lighting. Look at all these windows. Oh, I bet you that's wonderful. It's, it's uh, almost six o'clock in the evening. So during the day, I bet you you're gonna see a lot of natural light in here. So this is the living room. Look at this open space here. First up is the laundry room, and it does state that the washer and dryer are included. So we do have hanging rod as well as cabinetry, and this, this looks like it's a garage door. <clears throat> Okay, so this is an epoxy coated garage door floor. It is a two car garage with a third bay. Looks like there are some built in shelving and a little workstation as well as this is a freezer. Definitely, I mean, comfortably will fit a king size bed with end tables, nightstands. <clears throat> yeah, Mary, look at the windows. Look at that view. It can be hiked, it can be run. I mean, pretty difficult run, but you can do it. And there's a plethora of other hikes over um, once you go over the top of it. And then there's a valley, so you can do blue sky. I mean, it just goes on and on. But the unique one, let me see if I can zoom in here, is that one, which is horse tooth. It's definitely the view in Fort Collins, and here it is on the main level, not even on the upper level. I can't wait to show you that one. Okay, but continuing, this is definitely a highlight for sure at this home. Very exciting. We've got the hanging rods as well as shelves. These look like um, 
fashion storage. And then here is another closet with rods and shelving. This one. So this one is the larger one. This is the yard right here. Can you hear the birds? Mm -hmm. So in the kitchen we have the microwave, stovetop oven combo, refrigerator, and the dishwasher. Here is the sink. Looks like there is a water filtration system right here. So I'm wondering if there's, yep, there it is. And let's look in here, I bet you this is the pantry. There you go, full pantry. And then right through here, that funnels us back into the living room, is the formal dining room. First level, let's go up to the second level. This room even has 
a view of Horse Tooth Rock. Amazing. Look at how spacious this room is. Linen closet. And then here is another bathroom. So we already have the powder room, and then this is a bathroom shared with these two rooms um, a double sink, toilet, and a tub shower. The bathroom as well is spacious. And then this is now the third bedroom. So this one is a little bit smaller, but not bad. Still, I would say this is 12 by 12. This is the standard size. So that one is just extra large. Now this is the one that faces the street. The front of the house. And it is above the driveway. It does have a closet. I bet you the closet the same size. There we go. So that's pretty much what's on the second level. Very open space and connected. Let's go see the basement. exciting to do this with you. I really like sharing these. Okay, wow, a lot more lighting. It's in here. This is the first one. Oh, so we've got extra storage. There we go. A lot of extra storage. Nice shelves too. Built-in shelves. Here is the fourth bedroom then. There we go. The egress window. This looks like just a little extra shelving here in drawers, like a built-in. And then the closet. down here and finished. Oh, here's the bathroom. So, this bathroom. Here's the light here. Okay, ooh, there we go. So, one sink, a toilet, and a shower stall with built-in cabinetry. As well as more. Everything I've noticed, all the cabinets are this red oak. So they run consistent throughout the home. And then here's the shower. Okay. And then let's go down the hall. Well, here's the utility, the mechanical room. Fairly new. everything. This looks like it's more, more storage. They definitely have a lot of storage here. Oh wow, definitely more storage. So I would say the basement is 90% finished. The 
rest is all storage. That, that's clearly all the paint. And this looks like this might be the radon. There you go. Yep. So we've got a radon mitigation system installed. And then this looks like it's the common space down here in the basement. wall to wall. Holy moly. Oh. Oh, you know what? I do believe I remember them talking about this. Oops. Oh, here's the lighting. Okay. So, this is, uh, this was the entertainment area, the home theater section. I think if you wanted to keep the furnishings as well as the TV, you can. Uh, but look, this is from exterior wall to exterior wall. Look how long this space is. And there's, I think there's another TV. thinking that kind of shelving is more for media or books. So there you have it. This is the basement. So I'm going to conclude here as this is my favorite spot on this um, flagstone patio out in the open space that you back up to in front of Coyote Ridge with Horse Tooth Rock. I mean, Incredible, incredible, a rare find here in Fort Collins. Okay, so let's do the highlights of this property besides everything that I just said. Uh, it is in the community of Registry Ridge, which is also Primo. The, uh, it's a four bedroom, like I said, four bath, just shy of 4,000 square feet. It does have a finished basement. Uh, the views are from the kitchen, <laughs> the dining room, this little like uh, breakfast area, as well as the living room, the primary bedroom, and one of the bedrooms upstairs. Get to see this. Incredible. Okay, so what else can I tell you? Oh, the schools. So the schools are elementary school is Coyote Ridge, the middle school is Irwin or Lucille, and then the high school is Loveland High. Um, it was built in 2002, and it looks like it's really been well maintained and taken care of. Anyways, if you have any questions regarding this property, this is going to go fast. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me, Denise O'Connor, at 970-988. I would love to answer any questions that you have. If you want a private tour, definitely. Let's get that set up and put on the books. Um, if you want to purchase it, give me a shout. Okay, let's do this. Let's do real estate. Until next time.